It's like 420 in the morning. Hello everybody, today we're going to be talking about the big five personality traits of emotional development psychology. Now what are the big five? So, personality psychologi psychologists, wow, tough word, um, say that there are five main personality traits that define every individual's personality as they develop throughout their lifetimes. Uh, these traits include extroversion, agreeableness, openness, conscientiousness, and neuroticism. Now we'll have those highlighted above. So openness refers to an individual's creativity and insight. Conscientiousness describes how goal-oriented uh, someone is in addition to their thoughtfulness and impulse control. Uh, extroversion relates to how talkative or social uh, someone is. Agreeableness includes trust, selflessness, and empathy. And finally, neuroticism describes emotional instability and sadness. Um, research such as that done by McRae and his colleagues show that the theory of the big five traits appear to be universal um, across all different cultures. Uh, but specifically today, we're going to be, dis be discussing uh, this topic in relation to business owners and entrepreneurs. Uh, why? Because um, entrepreneurship is a personal passion of mine. Um, I've been running a business uh, reselling shoes and streetwear, such as that from the brand Supreme, uh, since seventh grade. So uh, looking to possibly pursue a career in entrepreneurship um, after USC as well. Uh, so very exciting. Uh, this topic with the Big Five has been very relevant today in the media um, and literature. Uh, specifically, um, in the media, this topic has been discussed um, regarding corporations and their processes for hiring new employees. So many employees have begun to require job applicants to actually perform personality assessments to supplement uh, their basic job application uh, to give the employer a better idea of if this uh, individual will be a good fit within the workplace um, and uh, be cohesive with the other employees. Um, one platform specifically called Tradeify, um, they use AI to um, test applicants' personalities. Uh, they recently raised $12 million in investments to go forward with this company. Uh, they say that in 90 seconds, they can collect hundreds of data points assessing a candidate's personality. And this is uh, predominantly through images. So. Uh, visually, they can use this platform to identify uh, someone's personality. Pretty interesting stuff. Um, tests are built off of Holland's interest inventory, which refers to the big five personality traits. So this is very applicable to anyone's everyday life, uh, and you might be personally impacted by this uh, during your next job search or if you have to seek out a new career. So, yeah. <clears throat> so uh, next up, we're going to be talking about a specific research article. Now, the one we're going to be discussing is the Big Five Personality Entrepreneurship Relationship, which evidence from Slovenia. This specific article is published by Boston and Tonchik, uh, Tina Brakovic Krieger, Gangren Singh, and Alex F. DeNoble. Um, and they are some smart cookies, may I say so myself. Now, the aims of their study was to develop or to discover, rather, if the Big Five Personality Traits uh, can psychologically determine one's entrepreneurial startup and um, start decisions and intentions. Um, in order to do so, they use a structured questionnaire. Uh, the researchers use a random sample of undergraduate and graduate students selected from three Slovenian schools. And then because historically in Slovenia, uh, most entrepreneurs don't typically uh, pursue a degree and go to an undergraduate or graduate organization, um, they uh, sought out additional resources, or additional responses rather, uh, by randomly selecting the rest from a financial report database. Uh, they divide the sample in three categories, self-employed, um, people in paid employment, and unpaid family workers. Now, they use cross-tabulation chi-squares tests uh, to find that the 563 responses they received showed no difference um, between the different samples in terms of age and gender. These questionnaires ask the participants uh, questions pertaining to the personalities uh, in addition to demographics and the firm in which he or she is employed. Uh, they received 546 usable responses. Um, exploratory factor analysis was done, um, on, was done to test each of the five personality traits um, among the individuals and using entrepreneurship as a dependent variable and each personality trait 
as the independent variables, they ran a multinominal logistic regression. Um, and their findings were quite fascinating. Um, now I will uh, show some graphs here, uh, demonstrating their findings. Um, first up is neuroticism. Now, as you can see from this chart that the researchers put together, uh, portraying the different levels of neuroticism for the four different groups, uh, you can see that non-entrepreneurs, both the male and female participants, uh, demonstrate the same levels of neuroticism, uh, and same with maybe entrepreneurs, but then they suddenly split apart amongst the potential entrepreneur group, where uh, females um, were apparently demonstrating higher levels of emotional instability and sadness, whereas males were demonstrating much lower levels uh, when they were potential entrepreneurs. But then they meet back in the middle um, well, uh, for those that were practicing entrepreneurs. Now, next for the openness trait, uh, you can see that males uh, demonstrated higher levels of openness um, across all four categories, non-entrepreneur, maybe entrepreneur, potential entrepreneur, and practicing entrepreneur. And they're all demonstrating, both male and female, is the same. A rate of incline um, as they progress through those steps. Um, um, and next for the uh, conscientiousness trait, you can see that uh, the male or female participants uh, showed very stagnant levels um, across all across the four different uh, groups, whereas the male participants uh, showed a slight incline um, from non-entrepreneur to potential entrepreneur and then a decline uh, from potential entrepreneur to participating entrepreneur. And next for extroversion, uh, you can see that females uh, to begin with and throughout um, across all four uh, categories showed higher levels of extroversion, but uh, it's very interesting to see that maybe entrepreneurs, potential entrepreneurs, and practicing entrepreneurs all showed um, higher levels of extroversion um, as opposed to non-entrepreneurs. Now, finally, for the agreeableness category, uh, you can see that um, male participants demonstrated much lower levels of agreeableness, and whereas females uh, demonstrated very high levels uh, amongst those that were non-entrepreneurs, and then declined uh, for those that were uh, potential entrepreneurs. Um, very interesting to see that uh, practicing entrepreneurs actually demonstrated uh, the lowest amount of agreeableness for male or for female for male participants, uh, whereas female participants, um, practicing entrepreneurs, still showed relatively low levels of agreeableness. Uh, the big finding that um, these researchers took away from this um, study was that the Big Five personality traits can predict emotional startups uh, using openness and entrepreneurial intentions by analyzing extroversion and agreeableness. Now I found the researchers' findings to be very surprising um, as I did not expect um, extroversion to uh, be such a large determinant um, for the reasons that they found uh, because I consider myself to be much more introverted um, and I would have expected most entrepreneurs to feel the same way uh, because typically when you um, explore an entrepreneurial venture, uh, you're doing something by yourself um, and you later hire a team beneath you. Uh, whereas when I think of someone more extrovert, I think of someone that's uh, more um, socially inclined and wanting to be around um, other people. And um, the findings actually showed that practicing and potential entrepreneurs showed much higher levels of extroversion. Um, aside from that, I do agree with um, their finding that uh, openness and agreeableness are uh, big determinants of entrepreneurial uh, intentions and decisions uh, because in order to make tough decisions uh, you have to be pretty open to hearing um, different thoughts and different ideas. Uh, aside from that, um, I was not expecting neuroticism to have such little impact. Uh, going into this, I uh, would have assumed that neuroticism would be a large determinant for entrepreneurs because um, when I think of an entrepreneur, I mean, they're constantly making uh, very tough decisions and they're constantly on edge, putting out fires within their company. Um, and that can uh, lead to a great deal of uh, emotional instability. Whereas they, the researchers found that um, neuroticism was not a very effective determinant of entrepreneurship or of entrepreneurs. The researchers did find that one limitation uh, within their study was that uh, they 
think that uh, a lot of the participants, uh, their traits that they portrayed uh, could have been uh, heavily impacted by their specific environments, meaning um, entrepreneurs demonstrated certain levels of certain traits because um, they had to adapt to the environment that they were in and had to fit that bill of an entrepreneur. Um, and same with employees and uh, unpaid family workers. Now, uh, for a future study, I would think it'd be very interesting to um, make a group of high schoolers um, that are, uh, their personalities are a little more developed, but they still don't have um, a large idea of what career path they want to take yet. Um, so having them take some sort of personality test, measuring their personality traits, and then observing them um, throughout their uh, later life and seeing which end up uh, becoming entrepreneurs and which do not, and then comparing those two groups' personality traits to see if um, certain uh, higher levels or lower levels of certain traits um, could lead certain individuals to becoming entrepreneurs, whereas um, a lower level or higher level another trait uh, might lead um, an individual to becoming a normal employee or an unpaid family worker. That's all I have today, folks. Thank you for tuning in and have a great rest of your day. Psych 420 in the morning.